Hey everyone, Kemp Corwin here. Um, I just thought I'd do a quick video real quick. I'm going to run into the dollar store and get a few things. Um, but um, it's getting really hot here in Phoenix. And I have to go up to Ohio still. <clears throat> my daughter's up there. And so um, I'm just waiting on my, my little dog. My, my little dog that I got. Oh gosh. She's almost 14. Um, she had a um, tumor on her thyroid and she had trouble like breathing and stuff like that and um, as everyone knows I, I do rescue and stuff here in Phoenix and pretty much I you know I fund everything the food and any kind of vet bills and stuff like that myself um, but Susie was um, was having a hard time you know breathing and stuff so I um, I got referred to a, a vet a really good surgeon um, that deals with um, different types of cancers and tumors and stuff like that and um, I took her to a, a vet in um, Paradise Valley and she was there she, I, I took her in yesterday and uh, she uh, she stayed overnight and they did the surgery on her and uh, you know for as much as I I can't afford paying the vet bill you know I'm not like ready to let her go I've had her since gosh probably 2007 I think it was I graduated from college in 2006 and um, and I got her when I was up in Wisconsin and so she's been with me ever since you know the move from Wisconsin and um, let me turn down this air a little bit um, yeah she's got she's she's blind she's got she's got this sudden acquired blindness it's called SARDS and um, <clears throat> but she still finds her way around the house really well and she's um, you know she's got a good good heart and you know her test came back really good so she even though she's got her age you know um, she's pretty good for her age still um, but uh, anyhow so so they did the surgery and uh, everything went really well the vet said that um, she had a little bit too much swelling around her throat that he wanted to keep her another day just to make sure that everything is fine because if she had trouble breathing to the point where she needed emergency care you know where I live in the West Valley of Phoenix is too far I mean Paradise Valley is like way on the other side of um, Scottsdale you know it's pretty far from where I live and so he wanted to like monitor things and everything and make sure that she had 24-hour nursing care and stuff um, she went through the surgery really well, he said. Um, the ox or no, not the oxygen, the temperature was a little bit low when he um, got done with the surgery. He, but then the nurse called me that night and said that it, the temperature went back up, you know, right at the right level and everything. So that turned out really good. So, anyhow, um, but um, you know, it's not like me to ask anybody for help or anything like that. Um, but, um, you know, I, I just, um, the vet bill is right around $3,000. Um, it's pretty high. Um, not something that I'm used to. I mean, I, I've paid five, six, seven hundred dollars on rescue dogs, um, throughout the time that I've been doing this in, in Phoenix. And yeah, you know, it takes a toll on your savings. That's for sure. You know, but, um, and I don't have a PayPal or anything like that up on my on my um, YouTube channel, but um, you know, in talking with a couple other people, they said that you know maybe it might be a good thing, you know, to ask people if they would have a couple dollars here or there um, to help donate, you know, for for her surgery cost. Um, so I I think I'll put together a, a PayPal account, and if you know. If you're inclined to help me with her cost, um, 
that would be absolutely wonderful. I would really, really appreciate it because I was just not, I wasn't ready for Susie to go, you know. She was the one that if you go back on my videos, um, when I was out at um, Lake Havasu, when um, I was out there with Jamie um, and Nomadic Fanatic when he was um, installing my, my Max Air fans, um, I climbed the mountain with Susie and uh, had to put her in a little stroller because she's about, oh, I don't know, she's about 14 pounds. So she was a little heavy for me to carry hiking up the hill. So, um, but anyhow, you can go back on there and look at her pictures. Um, I just record all my videos from my phone. So it, um, it takes a while for them to upload. I try not to make them too long because, you know, I, I don't know how to do everything like everybody else. I'm just kind of new at all this. So, um, but anyhow, um, when I upload this, I'll, I'll put a link to a uh, PayPal and, um, and I'll also do a video when I get to the vet's office tomorrow and then um, I will um, hopefully be able to do a video when, I, when I'm there with her. Um, according to the vet, or no, to the nurse, they said that they had to make an incision about probably about five inches, you know, on her throat um, to get to everything. Because I guess the, the tumor, <clears throat> he said that it was kind of intertwined around the the arteries and the veins and stuff like that um so he was going to take the thyroid out too but he said he was able to leave the thyroid um but he did get the tumor out it was probably right around i'd say three to three to four centimeters i think centimeters yeah you know it was probably about yay big you know as big as this right here it was just like on the side, on this side a little bit, and then on this side where the where the tumor was. And he said it was malignant. He did an x-ray and, and, and showed um, that there was no spreading of the cancer, which was a really good thing. He says that the um, prognosis for her full recovery is really good. He said her tests and everything and everything was good as far as her lab results and stuff like that. So he said that... Um, she should be good you know so um but anyhow i just want to put this video out here and um and if you would be so kind as to help me out with the vet bill i, I would appreciate it and i will um, um show you the vet bill and like i said i'm going to try to do a video when i'm at the vet's office tomorrow and um show you you know where her little incision is on her neck and stuff like that and i'll show you the bill and stuff like that but like i said i'm not this isn't typically something that I would ask for, but this is a lot of money, you know, and I don't, I'm not rich, <laughs> you know, and <clears throat> for as much as I've helped the animals out and, um, you know, I, I just, it'd be nice to have something come back around to help my little dog out too. So, but anyhow, um, well, thank you for watching the video and um, I appreciate it. And please, you know, like and share. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Thank you. Bye.